I was just coming in to have Dr. Oli take a look at my hawks. We got uh, Dagger, and then I brought his girlfriend, Freya. She's a, she's squawking, but she's a female Harris hawk. And then this is a male Harris hawk. It is hard to pick favorites, you love them all, but I have a special bond with this guy. You know, the sport of falconry, it's ancient. Instead of hunting with a gun or a bow and arrow, you can hunt with a bird and you catch small stuff, rabbits, ducks, quail. It is always good with an animal like this, just for Dr. Ole to take a look. He's a vet who knows about raptors, which is rare. Hey, Doc, how's hey, it going? Hey, Nick, good how are you? Ole. Good seeing you. Thought I'd bring the hawks in for their yearly checkup. Come here, are you? I always love seeing well-manned birds. I was in my early teens when I developed a fascination for raptors. And then when I found out you can actually train them and fly with them, I thought, nothing's better than taking your hawk for a walk. So I got into it, and now I'm a master falconer. How old were you when you were my apprentice? I was 15. 15? 15 when I first called you. He helped me get my license. He taught me how to do it. I mean, he's just the most helpful guy. I wouldn't be able to do it without you, so I appreciate it. Well, shoot. So are these captive rays, or did you trap them? Both of them are captive bred. He's three, she's six months. Harris's hawks are really cool birds. They're known as the wolves of the sky because they're the only raptor that hunts in social groups, like a pack. You don't have any fluctuations in weights. I mean, they're staying pretty steady at where yeah, you keep them. Yeah, I mean, them. I'm pretty much flying her at 700 grams. This guy I'm flying at about 620. I got to keep him at weight because I'm doing the pigeon thing for business. Right. Tell me more about that. We do an all-natural pest control thing now. Any place that's got a pigeon problem, um, I just bring the hawks by, we fly them. She's catching about five pigeons a day. He'll catch up to 10. When he catches a pigeon, I'll just give him a little piece of food and he'll get off it. And then he'll go catch another one, go catch another one, go catch another one. Yeah, I imagine once you get the, the pigeons aware of the fact that there's a couple of Harris hawks in the area, they probably just vacate on their own, don't they? Yep. We've had great success. We have apartment complexes, huge HOAs, parking garages. We're getting more work than we can handle right now. I remember when Nick came to me and he was, you know, this wide eyed wet behind the ears, teenager, just all things raptor, and very excited about wanting to become an apprentice, and I took him on, and now he's become a professional falconer. Kind of a nice uh, transition to see some of my students uh, do so well. Let's have a look at your birds. Just be careful. She can't grab me when she can't see me. Yeah. When captive raptors are nervous, we put a hood on them, and that eliminates all visual stimulus. It basically keeps them calm. What about you? He's a sweetheart. Oh, he's a great bird. I've never had a problem with him. I clipped his beak. He hasn't sharpened it yet. Well, you bite that for me. It's not grossly overgrown. He's a pretty calm guy. I mean, if you can get an emery board on there. The thing with an emery board to sharpen that up is as many strokes as you do on that side, make sure you do the same one, and that will keep that beak even. It'll keep wearing it down, and it will shrink it back up. OK. Well, uh, Nick, they look great. They feel great. As long as their weights are holding, I'm going to give them straight A's on their report Thank card you. today. Okay. I think the next thing to do is go watch them fly. Yeah, let's do it. Good boy. You want to uh, try for old time's sake? Sure. Go. Come on, buddy. Get every bit of it. He will chase everything. Tell you what, go, go over there next to that fence. I want to see him fly a little longer distance and call him in, OK? Come okay? on. Go over. Good boy. Come on, buddy. Good boy. Good boy. Yeah, that's yeah, he's boy. flying really strong, Nick. I've had probably five or six apprentices over the years. It's a sport that hasn't changed for centuries. It's almost like martial arts. I was a sensei to those guys, and now they're my black belt buddies. He's a good boy, Sir Dagger. If it weren't for you, I wouldn't be standing here doing this right now. So I thank you. I you thank you for it. all you did.